Hey guys, going on back again with another Zombies video. As you guys know, every couple of years, maybe even a couple of months, uh, rumors come out that Treyarch might be making their own standalone Zombies game. So it's something I want to talk about today again. Uh, and to be honest with you, a few months ago, maybe even a few years ago, uh, it's something I thought Treyarch would never do. Uh, obviously, they want to try and keep their Zombies mode within the main title to sell sell more copies of the uh, the main premium title. But... As you see on the screen, Epic Games actually this month, uh, a few weeks ago, um, released their own standalone Battle Royale game called Rumbleverse. Uh, as some of you guys know, in 2017, Fortnite the Zombies game got released. Uh, and within that Zombies game, they made a, a side mode called Battle Royale. And it just became really popular, obviously right now the most popular Battle Royale by far. Uh, and then same thing, people would think or have thought that, you know, Fortnite would never split their Battle Royale mode from the main game. The main game being Zombies. Uh, again, if you don't know or not aware, Fortnite is a Zombies game uh, that had a Battle Royale mode. And with Black Ops and Call of Duty, we have a main game that has a zombies as a side mode. Uh, so I guess this would be a good measuring stick for Treyarch and Call of Duty to see how well a standalone zombies game might do. Uh, something like I mentioned and you can see on the screen that Fortnite and Epic Games is doing with um, Battle Royale. This Battle Royale is called Rumbleverse. And it's pretty much strictly just fighting. You have uh, melee weapons. Uh, I don't think there's any ranged weapons. You could actually throw uh, some of the the weapons at your opponents. And this is fully um, produced or, or published by Epic Games that made Fortnite. So it's actually, I, I really like it because it, it has everything that Fortnite has minus the, the guns. And it improves on everything else that Fortnite did before them. And again, it could be something, maybe a measuring stick that Treyarch and Call of Duty uses. Uh, and not doesn't even necessarily have to be Treyarch. It could be maybe Sledgehammer or Infinity Ward. Um, maybe even Raven Studios that maybe one day they'll just create their own... Um, <clears throat> zombies game and I know they kind of did that also on mobile so that's the other thing too maybe they'll look back at the mobile and maybe create a new zombies mobile uh, game because right now I think mobile is the most lucrative uh, I mean this isn't mobile this is a console and PC game uh, Rumbleverse however same thing maybe they'll look at the mobile um, environment and see if maybe mobile would be a better environment for you know a standalone zombies game and maybe every game or so they're taking account to see how zombies is doing within maybe warzone within you know vanguard black ops and um some of the old infinity ward and sledgehammer games so like i said this is actually for me it's pretty epic and brown groundbreaking that epic games actually uh, made their own standalone battle royale again i like it because it's a smoother engine uh it doesn't have it's not bogged down by the zombies mode or the zombies game uh and that could be something that maybe call of duty and Treyarch could look at that if you have your own zombies game it's not going to be bogged down um by the multiplayer and by the campaign you could strictly have your own uh, zombies game and do whatever you want. You'll have a lot of space uh, and an engine. Maybe they'll make their own engine for the game. I wouldn't necessarily, because I think I've seen people talk about it. I wouldn't necessarily want any remasters, any of the old titles. What I would do is exactly what Epic Games is doing here. Is pretty much create a whole entire new zombies game, new characters everything new and just make it its own game i wouldn't try and 100 percent you know make a premise ultimus victus you know mob of the dead anything like that it might be great down the road to maybe do some tie-ins maybe some easter eggs 
Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't want them to just kind of use nostalgia and maybe, like I mentioned before, to be brutally honest, if you bring some of the old uh, maps and characters, you're going to always invite the toxic zombie YouTubers back. Uh, and I think it would be great if Call of Duty and Treyarch create their own zombies game with whole new everything uh, from scratch. I know it's going to be pretty costly to create everything from scratch and you're gonna need a lot of time to do that or maybe it's something that they have been working on um, but again rumbleverse is gonna be a good example of that okay take everything that fortnite has create a whole new lore backstory um mechanics gameplay and, and stuff like that and uh, let's see if we could do something with battle royale that they did with fortnite you don't have to worry about again carrying along with it all the zombie stuff that Fortnite has you can have um, a lot more freedom and artistic freedom to do whatever you want uh, you create your own assets so uh, again this is something that I never would have thought would be possible for maybe Treyarch to do is the fact that now you can kind of look at this game and see hey how's it working by itself is it gonna make a lot of money is console the best platform or is mobile gonna be the the best platform uh, for a zombie standalone game uh, and I'm pretty just gonna pretty much just gonna wrap it up there I don't want to drag this on too much um, but if you're interested it's called Rumbleverse again it's a battle royale um, I, obviously it looks like Fortnite it's made by Fortnite uh, Epic Games it improves on a lot of stuff that Fortnite did uh, again same thing with zombies if Treyarch or Call of Duty ends up doing that it would probably be the best uh, idea or the best advice is to make a standalone zombies totally 100% separate from everything that's come before. Of course, we're all always going to want answers to what happened with Victus and Primus and Ultimus in the Chaos story. But I think to invite, again, like I said, to invite that back in, you're going to invite a lot of um, toxic zombie YouTubers and they're always going to try and you know compare it to the main games and the original devs and, and stuff like that but i think if you do a zombies i guess in a way maybe what jason blundell tried doing with chaos is create your whole new game um you know and not have it at all connected to any of the old uh stories i know it a lot of the toxic zombie youtubers kind of crapped all over bo4 with chaos story and stuff like that but i don't know maybe it's something that infinity ward should maybe do or sledgehammer should maybe do again i think maybe even if treyarch does it that it's gonna just be um it's gonna fall victim to the toxic zombie youtubers uh or they should find better people to market um, the game or just trying to come up with something a little bit better uh, anyways I'll leave it at that I'll see you guys later